All right, everybody, Tom here with Hidden Beats, and today we are talking with the boys from Harmonies again. How are you guys doing today? Hey, we are great. Hello, Hidden Beats. Thank you for having us once more. It's a pleasure to be back. Yeah, it's always it's always good to have a nice, a nice convo with you guys. So uh, for those who might be new, can we give a little intro about you guys and the band? So we are Harmonies. Uh, John and I are half of the half of the group. Um, we're currently based in Toronto, Ontario, and yeah, we're we're a modern rock band, and we're just uh, going about Canadian way right now. <laughs> yeah, we got a leg of shows coming up, and then uh, it's about like six or seven shows, and they lead up to we're going to Edmonton for for the Junos, right? So we have uh, some shows coming up, and uh, then we're just going to the Junos. We're nominated for Breakthrough Group of the Year currently. Yeah, as I I was reading that, and congratulations. That's kind of awesome to hear. Thank you. Did that come as a as a, how'd you guys take that uh, that n- notice? Yeah, that was it was crazy. Uh, we got invited to we got invited to the presentation where they announced all the nominees, and we had no idea whether we would be nominated or not. So to get the nomination while we were there was like we were ecstatic like we were very very happy yeah considering the band has only you know been making music here in canada uh, back again the last three years right so in a matter of three years suddenly to be in a in a competition with such like heavy hitters you know like these huge canadian names are also like in in competing right so it's a for only three years i think it's so that's a lot of what we've accomplished here yeah it definitely feels like we've been making steps in the right direction and Definitely feels like some of the hard work is is coming to fruition a little bit. I mean, I'd say so you guys have you definitely been rising the charts, and you said you got a couple of big shows coming up, and I think Trooper is uh, Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes Trooper. We are opening for Trooper on Friday in Oshawa at the Biltmore. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think I'll have this one. I'll maybe I'll try to get it out tomorrow so people can get a little bit more more bonus on that but we'll definitely have it out this week and how how exciting is it open for trooper those guys have you know they've been around yeah i mean it's like if you get in a car in canada and you listen to any sort of like classic rock radio you're gonna find uh at least one of their of their hit songs right and uh yeah we were actually talking about the other day that we we haven't ever like uh Yeah, so I lost you guys pretty much at the end of the the trooper part right. there, but we, we could do some editing around that too. Yeah, we were just saying, uh, yeah, we have we haven't ever opened for such a classic, classic band. band, yeah. And uh, no, it's going to be a really fun show. Well, I think we played that theater uh, on on tour last year, and it was one of the better shows of the, of the leg last year. So mm-hmm. it's a good spot to go play. It has like that old school kind of like like roundhouse kind of like uh yeah the venues venues the venue's vibe. really cool it's got like ton of like props like yeah kind of like movie props in a way in it and just like like a really nice mezzanine yeah it's cool <laughs> yeah i think i did see that on your list of of shows in yeah, last year yeah last year at some point but no that should be fun and i think you guys have another one coming up in march i can't remember i don't have that written down that was gonna be a pretty fun one to be at in montreal montreal yeah yeah. Montreal with what is it? The damn truth. Yeah, we're yes, that's for- what it was. The Corona, Corona Theater, and I think it's actually sold out. There you go. That's that's gonna be a fun one too. And uh, the next day, we are playing in London, Ontario, for a party for the Briar Cup. Okay. Which curling is event. yes, which is curling Canadian yeah. curling. Yeah, I mean, I used to curl once upon a time until I stopped. <laughs> nice. So, I have actually. Uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I've never been curling. Oh, you've never been curling. Okay. Well, that's like a, a Canadian thing. You definitely have to try at least once. Right on. So um, one of the things I was, I was checking out you, your new single meet me at the riot. I mean, that's been blowing up socials and I mean, you guys have been going crazy on TikTok and stuff with that. How, how's the, that song been received so far? Uh, so far it's, it's been received pretty well. Um, the streaming is is doing really well. Mm-hmm. Um, we had we had that track ready like uh when we were doing all the Camino logo releases, but we thought instead of releasing it just lumped up with the rest of the album, it would be cool to make it a single. It was the first release mm-hmm. of the year, and 
the song was already in our set and um, amongst like our people who were our fans who came to our shows that was already a, a song that people held on to and remembered so yeah. it was nice to put it out once i remember when we worked on that song in the studio and stuff it really kind of marked a chapter of the more modern and sounds that this band can achieve you know like the song rocks it has a ripping guitar solo and stuff and a big riff but it has a lot of uh has a bigger scope to it than, than just like a traditional rock song i would say it's got a very modern production mm -hmm. it, which is really cool. it sounds it sounds great i yeah i honestly when i when i first heard the song back i couldn't like put my finger on like anything else that sounded like it mm -hmm. which i thought was really cool yeah i've definitely been been vibing with it for sure and I've been getting a kick out of the the little clips on TikTok and stuff like that with uh with you guys hammering um all the like condiments yeah. all over the face. <laughs> that one that one that one I just kinda laughed at when I saw that. I'm like, you gotta have fun when you're doing it for sure. That was, oh, an, for sure. That was an expensive one. That was an expensive uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gotta put budget into cupcakes and uh, eggs. Eggs. eggs Flour. <laughs> now did you have to shoot that a couple times to make sure you got it right? I think it was only. I think it was only shot once. No, it was yeah, ride or die, really for that one. He had to really do a one take. I mean, like it's it's been working, and you could definitely see that. And which uh, which social platforms have been hitting home for you guys the most recently? Um, we've been super focused on TikTok these days, and um, just like getting creative with our ideas and uh, what what we can put out and also instagram too we keep we keep our fans on both platforms updated as much as possible yeah i was cruising around your instagram actually and i think i think i saw a clip with you guys with little barrett doing a track uh what's, yeah. what's yeah. up with that one yeah little barrett that was uh that was early, like earlier last week right or something that was was that the yeah. clip of well, john well we're actually mm -hmm. not spoil anything but harmonies and, and little barrette like we have a track together that we will be like uh, that will be a single eventually it's a collab that we've done together and uh but yeah he called me the other day and uh, we went and shot something together at this uh, studio here in toronto and yeah it's a it's a it's great like we love uh, collaborating with different artists we already done stuff you know with um, a band called cms from argentina we've done stuff uh, with uh, pp dobson with walk off the earth and uh working with rappers is is just another extension of the our collaborative side you know like uh, uh danny was raised raised in, in miami i i was raised in new york so like hip-hop and all that stuff has, has always been just part of the culture you know so it it is kind of a natural fit for us to collaborate with with rappers or something you know yeah, it's exciting it's exciting yeah he's yeah, a great right. guy but he's very talented and he's very young i think he's like 22 or 20 uh, no idea yeah we actually booked him here in ottawa four or five years ago now just when he was starting to to pop off a little bit so it was definitely a good show and when i saw i saw the the clip i was like oh damn that's gonna be fun like that's it looked like it was already gonna be a good show mm -hmm. now he's great he's great he's very talented and he's uh like a very open-minded musician like you know it can be seen that he's totally willing to collaborate with all sorts of uh musicians mm -hmm. and, and one of the other big things like we already talked a bit about the junos was was the plan to, you know, you're hopefully, did you expect three years Junos was going to be the thing or were you or just kind of seeing how things went? Um, I don't know if we necessarily expected it, but we were definitely working as hard as we could to, to potentially achieve something like this. Well, we just rem remember like last year when nominees were announced and we saw the nominees and we saw, okay, these are artists and groups that, that are you know somewhat like we're not too far from that so i remember last year we were like oh, okay maybe maybe next year we'll get it and sure enough when they announced that we were being considered for a nomination that was like okay it does seem like there is a moving forward but i don't think there is there was like some kind of we didn't put it up on like a you know a board that's like in three years we'll be at the junos you can't you can't calculate those kind of things you're kind of at the mercy of the industry and the academy and all those things and uh, but it's it's been adding up so yeah, now we just got to win it. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> some people have those those vision boards where that's where they want to be in, you know, three and five years. So it's right. always, you know, good to shoot for for higher aspirations for sure. Absolutely. absolutely. And speaking of the industry, how do you guys think with, you know, we've, we're a year out of COVID, I guess, at this point now. And touring's going insane. It's coming into festival season. What do you guys think of the way things are moving right now? 
Yeah, it's 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 great. I mean, last when when things opened up, there's so many people touring, which is really awesome to see. Um, yeah, we've definitely got stuff lined up for the summer and stuff lined up for the spring. So <clears throat> it feels great to be back and to kind of like have everything like slowly but surely um, be where it used to be. I think there's something to be said. And like we we as a band, we've never like underestimated our audience we always like hold them at a, at a high regard and i think there's something to be said about the concert goer that nowadays with so much uh distraction online with all the apps at the tip of your fingertips and all the content in the world always at your disposal the people who actually end up going to live concerts especially in like a, let's say smaller towns across canada these are people that really love live music you know they wouldn't be there if they didn't love it because they have so much content and distraction ready at all times that the fact that they can get up off the couch and show up to a venue and pay a ticket and uh, to see a, a band is like, is incredible. You must, you know, these are people who really love music and we love our music. And that's something that we, that we share in, co in common with, with our audience, you know, that no matter what, we're going to gather and celebrate music. And and what do you guys think the, the difference is connecting with uh, a fan in a live show versus online settings where they're just listening to a track or maybe, seeing you on a zoom for instance uh, how, how do you think that plays different for people well there are there's pros there's pros uh, to for example for what you're talking about live streaming and stuff like that that's something that we do a lot on tiktok going live and that allows you to have um a different personal kind of touch uh, with your audience in which you can interact with them in real time you know and you're not in the scenario of like a live performance at a bar or at a venue in which you need to have all these extra theatrical things and a live stream you can just be sitting with your phone talking to your audience engaging in a, in a totally different way and that's great and that gets you in touch with people all over the world you know like if you're doing a tiktok live and, and there's a thousand people watching you know imagine if the like and they're all from all over the world it's not that they're all from one concentrated area that gets you in touch with your audience in a far different way which is super great and it creates a long lasting relationship between the the, the the artist in our case and our audience in, in their case you know yeah yeah definitely that being said it's it's also like amazing to like make like a physical connection or like you know in in real life too with people and you can meet them and they can kind of see your personality a little bit more than yeah. maybe they would through live stream there's like there's pros, pros to, both. to both yeah for sure and yeah I, what john was saying too just reaching at like every single part of the world is there's something really advantageous to that yes yeah, so, you know some people might think that like if, um you can get a lot of audience let's say by going on tour with with a major band let's say i don't know kiss invites you to go on tour and maybe yeah you'll get in front of a lot of people but you can get in front of as many people just with the you know from a live stream if you have the the right audience you may get more fans because the people that are going to see kiss they're going to see kiss maybe like what percentage of them are going to walk away from that performance yeah being like the opening band though you know not really so there's there is parameters to, to put up there about like what is it that propels you know uh, art forward yeah the conversion rate from a live show is is hit or miss i would imagine for sure so having having a, a good social presence is definitely the way to go these days whereas you know even five years ago that wasn't the case it was live shows and touring and that's where you got everything at that point don't get me wrong. If like if Kiss is, is out there and listening, we're, we'd be totally down to open for them. I mean, that would be pretty awesome for sure. <laughs> so you guys talked about a few of the you got some new stuff coming up. Is there anything you can you can spill the beans on for you know anything new shows that you're playing or festivals you might be headed to, other than the stuff we already know about? Uh, well just uh, count on future releases that will be you know some of them will be just standalone harmonies tracks some will be collabs um definitely definitely will, uh, look forward to some collabs okay um, collabs <laughs> are fun <laughs> yeah just more video content and yes more live performances i don't think I, I can like off the top of my head say anything like beyond that's been penciled in as far as festivals go and and whatnot but we have a pretty solid leg lined up before the junos and by the time we get to the junos there will probably be things booked for after that you know it's all it's all snowballing at all times mm -hmm. 
are you guys gonna take the time to get check out live you know festivals and stuff if you have a chance or or no yeah i mean if, yeah if we have a chance we're always lovers of live music and um hmm. we'll, we'll go out and, and watch and you know and yeah enjoy <laughs> Um, yeah, we I, just actually got the the Blues Fest lineup announced for Ottawa like at midnight. Morning. Looked pretty interesting. No, I wish they would have saw that us. this morning. <laughs> hey, I mean, there's definitely I can uh, I'll put in some good words for for next year for you guys if you can get yeah. you on the on the bill here. If anyone yeah, cancels, that would be amazing. If anyone cancels, just let us know. Well, I mean, like I I do have the the email contacts for the media team, so we can definitely look at putting your name on the list somewhere. There that would go. be great. Dude, dude, <laughs> that would be great. Doing man. business right here live. <laughs> and that and you know, people want to see fun things like that if we can help each other out in some way. So well, certainly. absolutely. So the, have you guys been I mean, obviously there's lots of music going on, but what else do you guys do to keep busy other than figuring out some new stuff? Um we've been working on like a bunch of random covers recently. Um, uh, we've been enhancing like our live performance i'm sorry oh, that, that all, all these that's... all these answers are going to be like musical because i'm trying to think of things we do that aren't <laughs> like pertaining to the band and uh yeah like right we've, we've done some work on enhancing like the introduction of our live performance and and some moments throughout the show to give an even more entertaining show you know and just to keep ourselves entertained you know we're, we're not just going to go out and play the same show we played last year we're trying to shake it up yeah, and and that's always something too. You got to work on your craft and in, in every aspect of it. So, you guys are knocking out solid tracks, but you know there's other pieces that you got to hone too. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and just to make a, to invite the invite the audience into the harmonies experience, and you know uh, figure out ways to make them be be engaged in everything that's happening and and feel the music. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. with the so I always like to ask a couple fun, you know, fun questions. And I know I've asked some of them before, so I'll try to, I'll try to get some new ones out here for you. One yeah. of my writers loves the question. Do you think a hot dog is a sandwich? Um, Personally, I don't think it is. Now, why not though? Um, They say like a sandwich consists, constitutes of like something between two pieces of bread, right? But you also have like a Subway sandwich or like a something like that where the, you know, slice down the middle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Listen, if, like, if the scientific community comes out tomorrow and puts out a statement that says a sandwich is or isn't a hot dog, I will like, I will do whatever they say, you know, like I will do whatever they say. Cause like if suddenly a sandwich, I mean, a hot dog is a sandwich and I'm at like at a street meat stand and I want a hot dog. If people decide to call it a sandwich, I'll be like, I'll take the sandwich, the one with the sausage. You know, <laughs> I will I will accept what the scientific community says, what it is, All right. you know. It's a great topic for debate because there it, there is no real wrong answer to it. And if you think about it, that, exactly. it, it's not for us to decide, you know, we need the scientific community to speak out and put an end to the debate once and for all. <laughs> and I, well, another so another fun food one, pineapple on pizza. What's your thoughts? Mm, it's really good if you have pineapple and jalapeno together on pizza <laughs> see now like, for myself I, I can't do pineapple on pizza the idea of of like the pineapple juices and stuff all over the the mozzarella it just doesn't work for me it's not a thing but i love them separately like it just doesn't match for me yeah 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 that's totally well, totally understandable pineapple on pizza is a, is a canadian invention right mm -hmm. i think that comes from this like whole sweet and heat thing right because in canada you got the dips too and people are like you know putting hot sauce on their pizza it's like oh this pizza's hot if only there was something to cool off wait a <laughs> second pineapple right i think that's like the thing right? wait a second wait a second it's all about balance it's and, all about and the yeah. canadian palate i guess i mean that's true i i have i think i have like 30 different types of hot sauces in my in my cupboard there for different things so balancing is always a, a big thing Love for sure dogs. I love hot sauce so much. Yeah, I, I got uh I, I did the whole hot ones thing where I got all the the Apollo and stuff like that and I tried to kill one of my friends with it and oh. see how that went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Brutal. That's that's pretty gnarly. So we're getting, I mean, I, I always look like to book these for about half an hour, we're getting close to our time. Is there any kind of final tidbits of advice that you want to give give anyone? I know we probably mentioned this a bit last time, but 
you know, there's never room for or never not room for more. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're working on music or you're working on what you're passionate about, just uh, keep your head down and keep keep on going. And, you know, failure failure can sometimes be your greatest asset. And even if something doesn't always work out, it can propel you into a an even better situation. <laughs> no, I mean, I like that. That sounds great. I think that those are very enlightening words, Alex. I would follow that advice. <laughs> And we're definitely going to follow that advice here too. You know, there's always one door closes and another window opens, things like that. Exactly. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, like you can't let it get you down. You gotta, you gotta turn those, those failures into a positive propelling motion. Yeah. I mean, I, I need a big window for myself, but that's, uh, <laughs> that, that's just because that's, uh, I mean, that's all I have written down is, uh, I mean, it's always great to talk to you guys, and too bad the other guys couldn't be here too. No, it's okay, man. It's all good. Yeah, it's we'll, all good. we'll tell them you say hi. Yeah, and we'll definitely have another conversation. And I hope to actually get to see you guys live one of these days, or at least get one of my guys out to. No, we gotta hang out next time. Yeah, we're in Ottawa, we should get some drinks and something and continue. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I'm always down for that. When there's a couple nice spots around, we can check out for sure. Yeah, we we always have a fun time in Ottawa. Ottawa is always a good city to play. It's it's fun to play here, but it's it's weird because big tours and stuff skip here with all the other markets around yeah. like Toronto and Montreal. So yeah. it's it's a little bit lackluster these days, I find. Yeah, yeah. but well, you guys have the Blues Fest coming up, so that that's pretty cool. Yeah, ten ten straight music days. That's going to be pretty sweet. And then we have City Folk, which is the other smaller one in early fall, I think. So that's going to be fun. Awesome. Now you can tell Ottawa is a city that really loves music and live performance. Every time we've gone there, we've had we've had a total blast. So, well, next time you're back, we'll definitely have a beer for sure. For sure, sounds good, man. All right, guys. Well, we'll sign off right now, and hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll Thanks. definitely have another conversation. I'm sure. Great to talk again. God bless, man. Thank you. Thanks for All having. Right. Us. Have a good one. Take care.